that you, even as a young girl, uh, or should I say a wee lass, a wee lassie. A wee lassie. Scotland had an independence referendum less than three years ago. But in that referendum, one of the big debates was about Scotland's membership of the European Union. Uh, and those who argued against independence said that if we decided to become independent, we would be thrown out of the European Union. Scotland couldn't be a member. And yet here we are less than three years later, and we face being taken out of the European Union against our democratically expressed will. So the circumstances have changed and in those new circumstances I think it's right that people in Scotland can look at the alternative futures on offer and decide which one is best for our interests and which one we think enables us to play the role in the world that we want to play. Scotland to have independence. But right from the, from the age, of, he knew you at the age of 15 and he's... There's a policy in, introduced in the UK today, it's become known as the Rape Clause. And that policy is that uh, for a woman, we, we have a system of tax credits, the state support for low-income families. And this new law that's taking effect today uh, only allows women to claim tax credits for two children. For a third or subsequent child, if they claim or are to be eligible for tax credits, they have to prove, they have to prove that the child was conceived as a result of rape. Oh now, it is a disgusting and disgraceful policy, but that policy has been introduced by a woman Prime Minister. And that's Amazing. the point I'm making. It's not enough to be a woman in politics. You have to do the right things with the power you've got. I mean, how does the dynamic between you work? I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, there have been... I, I tried not to overreact because I sometimes think newspapers like the Daily Mail do it in order to get attention. So why give them what they want? But that's a vivid illustration of, you know, no matter how much progress women have made and are making, it's a vivid illustration of how much more we, we still have to achieve. I look at Hillary and, you know, what she's, she's been a trailblazer for women in politics, whatever you think about her politics. And she, I find so many of her qualities admirable. Her sheer resilience I find utterly amazing. But she has made it easier for women like me in politics. And I think for that, uh, I and women across the world really owe Hillary Clinton a debt of gratitude. I need to go to college uh, where you studied law. How did you develop this tremendous self-confidence? 